Well, today, some good news for small business owners who have received a payment protection program loan. The House voted to pass legislation to make some changes, increasing the flexibility of those loans. Changes would include increasing the payback period of the loans from eight weeks to 24. It would also allow businesses to use 60% of the loan on payroll and 40% on other fees. That's lower than the previous 75% on payroll. And businesses would be able to defer payroll taxes. Now, when many of these businesses received PPP money from the federal government, they quickly realized that they were going to have some problems sticking to those rules. Jeff Todd has spent the day talking with business owners. And Jeff, many people said the rules were just too tight. Yeah, the idea behind this plan was to cover the cost of payroll and other things like utilities or even rent. But as this pandemic has gone on much longer, there were a lot of businesses that were not able to use the amount of money they were given and big payments were going to be due very soon. This is our 91st birthday year. The Denver bookbinding company is on its fifth generation of family ownership. We do a lot of Bible rebinding and cookbooks and Oh my gosh. It employs nine people, but since the pandemic set in, work has come to a crawl. We were working 12 and a half hours a week for everyone. But thanks to the federal paycheck protection program, Gail Lindley has kept her staff employed. Oh my God. I mean, we needed to have operating money. It's important. I mean, we've got good staff and, and nobody else knows how to do what we do. Without the program? It would have been sad. And at the beginning when all this happened, I mean, there was a lot of sleepless nights. The PPP has not been perfect. Restaurants have had the most trouble. Unable to hire back all employees, some were looking at needing to start repaying the loan next month. We must ensure that loan forgiveness periods are extended so that small businesses are not on the hook for this money while their doors remain shut. Today, the entire House delegation from Colorado voted to expand the PPP, giving businesses more flexibility for what the money can be used for and more time to use it. I'm just really grateful that finally somebody is applying some, some common sense to it. It's going to be a long haul to come out of this. This bill now heads over to the Senate. They're not back in session until next week when they are expected to pick this up. We're live in Denver tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.